Hello everyone. Uh, welcome to a lecture series on data structures. In uh, today's uh, lecture series, let us discuss about uh, one of the most easiest and prominently used sorting algorithm, which is bubble sort. So as the name indicates, uh, do you have any idea of uh, how bubble sort works? If you do not have any idea, we can uh, discuss this with the uh, real time example. So the idea behind uh, bubble sort is uh, the water bubbles that rises in the water. Consider if there are more number of water bubbles in the water. So which bubble will move upward first? The, so do, do you, uh, can you imagine which bubble will move upward faster or which bubble will move upward first? So the bubble, which is of largest size will move upward, right? Why do we have any, the, have you ever thought why this uh, bubbles of uh, largest size moves upward first? It is because when a bubble moves upward, the water from above will uh, move downward to fill the space uh, left by that particular bubble. So this is the same logic behind uh, working of bubble sort. In case of bubble sort, the largest size value is moved first. Similarly, the next largest value is moved next and uh, the next largest value is moved next. So like this way, the bubble sort works. So the working of bubble sort is similar to that of the uh, bubbles that rises in the water. So it compares the number in pairs from left to right. So whenever a uh, uh, swap is required, exchange process takes place. So the first number is compared with the uh, second one. And if the first, if now look at the example 9, 6, 2, 12, 11, 9, 3, 7. Here compare 9 with 7, 6. Since 9 is larger, then the six, uh, nine is uh, swapped with the six. And in the next comparison, uh, nine is compared with uh, two. Again, nine will be swapped because nine is greater than two. And in the next third comparison, nine will be compared with 12. But here, nine is not greater than 12. That is the first value or the first bubble is not greater than the second bubble. So it will not be swapped. So now compare 12 with 11. So 12 is greater than 11. So 11 and 12 are swapped. Now again, compare 12 with 9. 12 is greater than 9. So 12 and 9 are swapped. And again, compare with 12. So 12 with, is uh, greater than 3. So 12 is swapped. And the last comparison, 12 is compared with 7. So the last value here is over here is 7. So 12 is compared with 7 and 12 is greater than 7. Uh, so 12 will be swapped. So since we are started from the initial, from the zeroth index, we are swapping the uh, largest value to the second position. So if we start from the last index, uh, the largest will, value will be swapped to the first uh, position. So both are uh, almost correct. Now see, uh, so initially we have seen the first pass. Similarly, in the second pass, the same process is continued. Now compare two and six, no change because two, two is not greater than six. Similarly, in the second comparison also, there will not be any change. In the third comparison also, there will not be any change. But in the fourth comparison, 9 is greater than 3. So 9 and 3 will be swapped. Uh, similarly, in the next comparison, there will not be any change. So in the remaining comparisons, there will not be any change. No, no. In the next comparison, change will happen, right? Nine, Since 9 and 3 are swapped, you have to compare 9 with 7. And 9 is greater than 7. So 9 and swap, uh, 7 will be swapped. Whereas in the... Uh, uh, coming uh, comparison 9 is compared with 11. So there is no swap required. Similarly, 11 and 12, there is no swap required. So this is the uh, result of the second pass. So at the end of the second pass, this is how the array will look like. Now again, the third pass, same process is continued. 2 and 6, no swap. Similarly, 6 and 9, no swap is required. 9 and 3, they are swapped. Again, 9 and 7, they are swapped. 9 and 9, no swapping is required. 9 and 11, no swapping is required. 11 and 12, no swapping is required. So end of the third pass will be like this. Now again, compare 2 and 6, no swapping is required. 6 and 3, both the values are swapped. Now 6 and 7, no swapping are required. 7 and 9, no swapping. 9 and 9, no swapping. Again, 9 and 11, no swapping is required. 11 and 12, no swapping is required. So end of fourth pass will look like this. 2, 3, 6, 7, 9, 9, 11, 12. Now compare all the values. In each comparison, no swapping is done. So with this, we shall stop the bubble sort. Since all the values are arranged in order, the value highest value was present at the end. So this value will be bubbled first. So 12 is present at the end. So 12 is bubbled up. So let us take this 12 as the uh, largest value bubble in the water. So this particular bubble will go up first. Next, the bubble that goes will be 11. 
and following 11, uh, both the nines will go. And following nine, uh, the bubble with the value seven will go up. And following seven, the bubble with the value six will go up. And following that, three will go up. And following that, two will go up. So this is the uh, working of uh, bubble sort. Let me explain this bubble sort with another interesting video so that you can understand it even better. Uh, now look at this video. So bubble sort is a... Now look at this video. Uh, as I have said, bubble sort, it works like the largest value bubble will go up. So here, the values are 40, 10, 30, 20, and 50. These are the various values present in each uh, bubble. All you have to uh, do is to compare uh, each pair of bubbles. Adjacent pair of bubbles have to be compared and largest value bubble will go up. So initially, let us start from the right-hand side. So what I said, if you are starting from the right-hand side, the highest value bubble will be swapped at the first position. That is, the first position should have the highest valued bubble. So that is the working of uh, bubble sort. If you are starting from the left, the lowest value will be in the left side. So now compare 50 and 20. 50 is greater than 20. So 50 is moved to the first position. Now compare 50 and 30. Again, 50 is greater than 30. So it is moved to the first position. Compare 50 and 10. Again, 50 is greater than 10. So 50 is moved to the first position. Now compare 50 and 40. Again, 50 is for greater than 40. So 50 is moved to the last position, which is the first position and 50 will be bubbled up. Correct? Since this is the largest value or the largest bubble, it is bubbled up. Now, again, what you have to do? You have to compare 20 and 30. So no change. Since 20 is not greater than 30, no change. Now you have to compare 30 and 10. 30 is greater than 10. So you have to swap. 30 is moved to the first position or the position of 10. Now compare 30 and 40. Since 30 is not greater than 40, no change. So the largest value bubble will be 40. This particular bubble is moved up. Correct? Yes. Yes. So initially 50 is moved up. Now 40 is also moved out. Now what you have to do? Compare 20 and 10. 20 is greater than 10. So you have to swap. Next, what you have to do? You have to compare 20 and 30. No change since 20 is not greater than 30. And 30 is the uh, bubble with the largest value. And this particular bubble containing value 30 is moved up. Now you have to compare 10 and 20. There will not be any change since 10 is not greater than 20. So the highest value bubble is 20 and this particular uh, bubble is moved up. And we have only one bubble which is left, that is 10. So 10 is also moved up. So this is the working of uh, bubble sort. So I have explained the working of bubble sort uh, with the help of video also. Initially, I have explained it with the help of uh, an array. So hope you understood how bubble sort works. Uh, thanks for uh, watching. Let us meet in another interesting uh, video. Thank you.